In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist on this Trinity Sunday. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather people of every nation into the peace of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You come to us in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory, bringing us salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limits, so that the water should not transgress his command. Then I was beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proving character, and proving character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. You probably remember Archie Bunker and his cynical son-in-law, Mike. On one scene, they've just sat down for dinner and Archie is about to lead the prayer and Mike objects and says, why do we have to pray? And Archie says, this here is a God-fearing Christian family. And when you sit at this table, you're going to be afraid of God just like the rest of us. Then Edith, the reconciling wife, says, Oh, Archie, you ain't supposed to be afraid of God. I ain't. God is love. Oh, Archie, your God is not my God. Well, we know that there are many ways of picturing God, many images or notions that we have of God We've been trying to move away from the notion of a God who is severe and angry, just ready for us to make a mistake and punish us. The God that Jesus reveals to us is a God of mercy and forgiveness, compassion and great love. Today on Trinity Sunday, we celebrate God's feast day, a God who has been revealed to us has a loving father who created us and gave us life, has his beloved son, Jesus, who gave his life to save us, and has the Holy Spirit, the spirit who is working in the world and making of it a new creation. St. Julian of Norwich, the great mystic, wrote in her journal her experience of God, and she wrote, completely relaxed, happiness and peace, radiating a measureless love like a marvelous symphony. Isn't that a beautiful image of God? Smiling, happy, relaxed, delighting in his people, delighting in all of creation. Today we celebrate this feast of God, which is the central mystery of our Christian life and faith. It is the source that brings light to all the other aspects of our faith. 
And God has been revealed to us as a God who is not aloof or far from us, but intimately sharing in friendship and caring for us each day. It is a beautiful vision of faith by which to live. And the vision is this, that God is our Father, that Jesus lives and cares for us, that the Holy Spirit sanctifies us, that we are God's people. So let us rejoice today in the love of God that has made us God's children. And let us live in the joy and freedom of the children of God. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. My sisters and brothers, Jesus Christ sent us his Holy Spirit to lead us to the fullness of the truth. We call on his name as we make our prayers to God our Father. For the leaders of the church, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they courageously offer the passion of Christ and show the mercy of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders in the world, may their love for truth increase so that our world may grow in peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater holiness among all Christians, may we all be one in Christ's love for the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Gracious God, thank you for the abundant blessings you bestow upon us and your friendship in our lives. Guide us with your spirit in whose love we make our prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice in our hands. For the praise and glory of his name. For the good of all the Holy Church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us by your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity 
and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're grateful to the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. for hosting our Mass today and so thankful for the communications office of the Archdiocese of Washington and the Diocese of Arlington for providing this beautiful ministry. So today on Holy Trinity Day, it is God's feast day, so rejoice in it. And sometime today, just look in the mirror and just say, that's someone that God is really loving. That's someone that God is blessing. You see, believing is becoming. So believe that you are loved and cherished by God and, um, and be ready for the blessings that will come to you. In the secular world, they say that seeing is believing, but in the spiritual life, believing is seeing, believing is becoming. So, you know, you care what God thinks about you, so know that God loves you and that God always forgives you because he loves you and you're one of his children. Let us really celebrate God's feast day today on this Trinity Sunday. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. Everything changed from that moment I found out I was pregnant. Without the Knights of Columbus donating these ultrasounds to the Women's Care Center, I don't think I would have ever have kept my son. I wanted to either put him up for adoption or I was either going to have an abortion. I was still in high school. I was so scared. I was so nervous. But when I saw him, my baby on the ultrasound, and I heard his heartbeat, I remember just falling in love with. It was a tiny little peanut. That's when I'm like, I, I want to keep him. This is my child. So I'm very grateful for getting the opportunity to have and see my son. And just that changed my life completely. Thank you, Knights of Columbus. <laughs>